This video is brought to you by REP Gaming Products. Help protect your deck and support the show by picking up a steel deck box from the link down below. Hello everyone, it's Seth, probably better known as Saffron Olive, and it's time for another edition of Much Brew About Nothing. So, lately, in our instant deck decks, we've had some very meme-ish decks, and they tend to be really popular. So, on the heels of last week, where we played three Land Belcher, and actually posted a fairly reasonable record, I think we had a winning record with three Land Belcher, we have another ultra meme deck this week, Shadowborn Shell dot combo. So, this deck, oh my goodness, it's gonna be interesting. It is a really unique deck trying to do some really crazy things. When it all comes together, we can get Eh, turn 3 Emrakul is probably our ideal draw, which should win most games. On the other hand, the way we're getting to that Emrakul, a little bit complicated, involves many, many Shadowboard Apostles. So anyway, we're going to give it a shot, see if this crazy deck can actually work. Like usual, going to do a super quick two-minute refresher deck deck, and then we'll jump right into the gameplay. Before we do, a quick reminder, if you have it already and you enjoy the video, it would be amazing of you if you could take a second, click that subscribe button, and down at the bottom of your screen. It's a great way to support the channel and the site for free. So let's talk Shadowborn Shell dot combo. So the plan of this deck is simple, and I made a couple of very, very slight changes since our instant deck deck, but the deck has 34 copies of Shadowborn Apostle. But we're not planning on tutoring up demons or beating down with 1-1s. One our plan is to choose to draw first, if possible, discard a Shadowborn Apostle to hand size, and then hope we have one of our surgical extraction or extirpates to get rid of every copy of Shadowborn Apostle from our deck. So choose to draw first, discard Shadowborn Apostle, on turn one or turn two, surgically extract, extirpate all the Shadowborn Apostles, which is going to get our deck down around 20 cards. And then we hope we have combo piece number two, which is a copy of Sheldock Isle. So Sheldock Isle lets us look at our top four cards when it enters the battlefield, exile one of them, and if we have 20 or fewer cards in our library, or one of our opponents does, we can pay a blue tap it, cast that card. So after we exile all those cards, we should have less than 20 cards in our library. Shelldock Isle comes into play. Ideally, we will exile one of our four Emrakuls, and then, as long as we have just one other land, we untap our Shelldock Isle on our next turn, use it to cast the Emrakul, get the extra turn, annihilate our opponent, and hopefully just win the game on the spot. So, that is the deck. That is the plan. That's what we're trying to do. It is very janky and very strange. I have no idea how effective it'll be. We also have Serum Powder, which is just free mulligan. Just lets us respin for a new opening hand. Hopefully the second one is better, a little closer to comboing off. As far as the rest of the mana base, we have just a bunch of blue-black dual lands, only 12 lands in all. But remember, if we surgically extract all of our Shadowborn Apostles, our deck is only like 20 cards, so we actually have a ton of lands after we surgically extract it. As far as the sideboard, we can go into normal beatdown mode with our Shadowborn Apostles. We bring in a bunch of swamps if we're worried about our combo being shut off by like graveyard hate or something and then we're able to cast a thrumming stone naturally cast a shadowborn apostle get all 34 shadowborn apostles from our deck we can get them all back with our servitude if we need to and then since we have all of the shadowborn apostles we can tutor up some big demons grizzlebrand runescar demon demon of deskate we can just play a shadowborn on turn one play two more on turn two cast it by sacking all of those paying six life get a nine nine to hopefully just close out the game in two attacks so that's our backup plan if everything goes wrong Otherwise, one more extra pay, and that is the absurdity of Shadowboard Shell dot combo. And that's our Butcher Brew deck for this week. So is there any chance the memeiest of meme decks can actually win some games in modern? That's what we're gonna find out today. So let's get to the gameplay, see how this insane deck works. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll be back in a bit with a wrap-up. Alright, much brew about nothing time. We are <laughs> Uh, memeing it up against the odds two this week. <laughs> Shadowborn Shell dot combo. <laughs> Hopefully we win a game. Hopefully we win a game and do the thing at least once. <laughs> I do not have high hopes that this deck is going to be super competitive, but the games we win, oh lord, they're going to be sweet. Trust me. I mean, assuming it happens eventually. Alright, so opponents on the play, which is fine. 
We don't mind being on the draw with this deck. Let's just discard a Shadowborn <laughs> to hand size. This hand's not great, so we're gonna take our free serum powder mulligan at least. We have Shadowborn Apostles, but we don't have any other any other pieces. Ooh. Ugh. <laughs> so this hand has Shadowborn and a Surgical, but we haven't found... I think we take another free mulligan. Yeah? I mean, let's spin the wheel one more time. Oh. This hand has everything except a Surgical. All right, let's go, let's go one more. One more spin. All right. Well, we'll see. We'll see. We don't have any lands. <laughs> Maybe we should have kept the last one. Vote it. Passing. We do have two turns. Oh, there's Sheldock. All right. So now we pass the turn. Step one. Discard Shadowborn. We do need one more land. One, two, three, four. Kaisal Freebooter. All right. Well, Exile Shadowborn. This increases our odds of drawing a land significantly. Hopefully we don't draw Emrakul this turn. That's going to be our one problem. Well, all we have left is Surgicals, Emrakuls. All right. Well, uh, all right. Down to 14 cards. Opponent, sure. Take a peek. Please no Emrakul. Please no Emrakul. Please. Please no Emrakul. <laughs> Ooh, anything but that. We got the Sheldock Isle. We need to hit an Emrakul with Sheldock, and we need to draw a land. We draw Extirpate. Well, Sheldock. At least it's not... Okay. Emrakul. Ugh, four lands to the bottom. We need a land! We need a land! We got everything else. That's all we need. A land for the win. A land! The easiest part. Except we put four to the three to the bottom. Phyrexian Arena. Sure. Land. Land. Gets in with Kite Sail. Give us a land. Give us a land. Land? Watery Grave. <gasps> okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes living the dream we're just gonna wait and do this on our opponent's end step we could have done it main phase and technically had <laughs> all right we'll take our beats we want to dodge a and i guess we could have just done it yeah yeah that was stupid opponent obliterator sure i mean this is fine we just win. So now we Emrakul. I guess we could have just done it right away. Emrakul, because we are casting it, we get an extra turn. So waiting is kind of silly. Well, go attacking. Emrakul. Annihilate. <laughs> oh, we should have done it earlier. Oh, silly me. It does give us the cast trigger. <laughs> I was too excited that the deck was working. Oh, oh yes. Annihilate you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Shellback Isle. Emrakul? No. Alright. Surgical. Sure. Untap. It doesn't really matter. We still just win. And Oppose Coops it up! <laughs> Living the dream! Okay. Well, that went exactly how we were hoping it would go. And, uh, yeah, no tricky sideboarding. Let's run it back. Let's run it back in combo. <laughs> got him we got him <laughs> oh this deck <laughs> it's so ridiculous oh goodness okay oh dear this hand's not what we want Ugh. hmm two emercles yeah mulliganing's not great but Hmm, okay, free mulligan. Yeah, we're keeping. There is a Sheldock Isle. Our problem here is it's going to be hard to get a Shadowborn Apostle in the graveyard. Oh, man, if they have Blood Moon, life is very bad. Well, pass the turn. Swamp for our opponent. Ugh, Kite Sail. All right, that slows us down a lot. Takes our Surgical... This is another turn we have to pass now. Yep. Shadowborn. Well, pass the turn. The other issue is, I thought our opponent was mono black. If they're black red, there's a good chance they're playing Blood Moon. And Blood Moon totally shuts down our combo. So we're going to have to sideboard differently next game. Opponent gets in. Gifted Aetherborn. Okay. We need another Surgical. Well, we're going to finally discard a Shadowborn. 
next turn we can start kind of playing magic. At least casting Shadowborns to jump block. Surgical. Surgical. We got to find the surgical before they find Blood Moon. Fraxian Obliterator is also a really fast clock. Thought Seize. Oh, they can take the Emrakul. Ugh! Well, Emrakul Shuffle... Oh, all right. Well, yes, now we're dead. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Thossie's Everkull, Surgical Everkull. There's no way we can win now. All right, all right, all right, all right. So new sideboard plan. Now that we've seen what our opponent's doing, I think we're going to change it up. How do we want to change it up, though? Demon at Death's Gate uh, seems risky. We can go down so we can cut Serum Powder. The problem is if we're going to sideboard, we're going to have to actually like take out combo pieces like take out all that stuff like do we go on the demon plan and try to actually play fairly i think we're going to all right uh do we need serum powder for ramp we have 16 lands we might i guess we can cut a few shadowborns go 30 shadowborns well with the amount of disruption we saw from our opponent let's sideboard out the combo altogether this makes us not lose to a lot of the things we were losing to before. And we get to play first. All right, sure. The shell docks are a little sad, but I'm assuming our opponent took out most of their removal. Can we win fairly? Dark Slick Shores, Shadowborn Apostle, go. <laughs> Sideboard trickery, can it work? Swamp for our opponent, Thought Seize. Takes a Shadowborn, opponent passes. Well, get in with Shadowborn, hit our opponent play Shadowborn, play Watery Grave, pass the turn, opponent, Relic, all right, well, we, that's fine, we took out all of our graveyard stuff, Polluted Delta, opponent passes, Shadowborn Apostle, well, go attacking, hit our opponent for two, play Darksley Shores, pass the turn, now we're in a weird spot where I don't know if we want to be, like, saving Shadowborn Apostles for the Ripple? Ugh, Liliana. That's not ideal. Okay. Kills a Shadowborn. Ugh. Yeah, Liliana's brutal here. Opponent passes. Well, attack Liliana. Gonna be a lot harder to win fairly with this Liliana out. Take Shadowborn Apostle, I guess. Well, we put three non-helpful cards to the bottom. Pass the turn. Kill Shadowborn. Exile Shadowborn. Phyrexian Arena. Okay. Opponent passes. Now, play Serum Powder. Play Shell Dock Isle. Please, nothing good. All right, take a Shadowborn. Well, I mean, this is our hope. We hope we draw, <laughs> we draw a Ripple card, and that's our that's our out. We play the Ripple card. We play Shadowborn. Hopefully, get an entire battlefield full and win the game. Well, there's a gifted Etherborn, and a gifted Etherborn. Shadowborn Apostle. Pass the turn. Opponent draws a card. Polluted Delta. Yeah, it's in. Gain some life. Come on, Dak. Come on, Dak. Be good. Takes up Liliana. Getting close. Dreadshade. Ugh. Come on, Dak. Give us something. There it is. That's Thrumming Stone. All right. Well, play Thrumming Stone. Shadowborn Apostle. No whiff, no whiff, no whiff. Okay. Okay, we get them all. We get them all. Hopefully they took out their Rass or any Sweepers. Cast, 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 cast. How many do we go? I think we go like 10-ish. Oh, it's working. All right, let's take these two. We want to save some in case they do have like an Anger of the Gods or something. All right, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11. We have 30. 3 are down. All right, let's go one more. Let's go to, like, 12. All right, take Shadowborn. 
We don't want to take them all, though, just in case they have a wrath. Because we don't have the mana to activate. All right, so get a bunch of dorks. Yep. Wow. Backup plan achieved. <laughs> Thrumming stone. Shadowboard, shadowboard, shadowboard. I mean, we'll see what our opponent has in hand. Ideally, this means we can tutor up our demons and win that way. All right. Well, there are some shadow boards. Pass the turn. All right, opponent. Ideally, they would have taken out their their sweepers and so forth because of our... Uh, they didn't see any of this stuff in the main deck. So ideally, that's what will happen. Sax Relic. Desperation. Dig it. Dig it for something. This also allows us to kill the Emrakul or the Liliana, theoretically. Swamp. Relic, sure. That's fine. Is this working? Did our sideboard plan come through? Sacks it. Desperation. Yup. Kills a Shadowborn. Sure. And. Obliterator. That's fine. That's fine with us. Opponent. No attacks. Shadowborn. So. Go to combat. Everything attacks Liliana. We're going to sack the ones that are blocked. One, two, three, four, five, six. Take a... Hmm. Take a Grizzle Brand. Hit Liliana for a bunch. Play Shadowborn. Go back to the Rippling. Yup. Shadowborn, Shadowborn. How many do we need? One, two, three, four, five, six. Shadowborn, Shadowborn. All right, now we're going to say no. Um, actually, let's go one more. Eh, we whiff. Are we getting near the end? Okay, get a Shadowborn, get a Shadowborn. Ripple. Maybe we're out. Have we used all of our Shadowboards? We might have. All right. Well, we got some shadow boards on defense. Pass the turn. So now the plan is to... <laughs> now the plan is to sack shadow boards to get rune scar demon to tutor up immortal servitude to reanimate all of our shadow boards and just keep getting demons. I, th I think this might be working. Opponent. Uh, relic. Boo cracks it well there goes some more shadow boards takes up liliana yep okay seal freebooter uh-huh guess what bonet <laughs> it's shadow boards gifted etherborn bonet no attacks all right so now we sack six shadow boards tongue twister <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. Get a Rune Scar Demon. Rune Scar Demon. Tutor up Immortal Servitude. Untap. Go to combat. Attack our Attack our opponent. Attack our opponent. Opponent blocks. Take some damage. Hmm. Now let's just Shadowborn Apostle. With Shadowborn Apostle. We know there's more in our deck. Okay, there they are. Shadowborn. 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 <laughs> okay. I think there's one more. There are four in our deck, maybe. All right. Shadowborn. Yep. Well, let's look once more just in case. Oh, two more. All right. We'll just take them all. And this also gets us down low enough on cards that we can shell dock aisle. Although our shell docks are, are not the greatest here. Yup. <laughs> it's working. All right. No more ripples. We're done. 
We could stack our deck. I don't think we're going to take the time to do it. Yup. Shadowborn, Shadowborn. No ripple. We got them all. <laughs> I can't believe this sideboard plan worked. All right. Pass the turn. Opponent down to seven. And game. <laughs> what are the chances? What are the chances? Opponent takes down. Sure. Ooh, Gray Merchant. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seven, eighteen, nineteen. Good God. No. Are we gonna lose to Gray Merchant? Gray Merchant to two. Opponent attacks with everything. Well, one. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, that gray merchant. And we got a sack. One, two, three, four, five. All right. Yeah, this is all we can do block everything stay at two sack 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 um let's cast shadowborn sack sack Opponent passes. We draw Watery Grave. Well, go to combat. Kill Liliana. Attack our opponent. Yup. Immortal Servitude. Oh, no! All right. All right. Yup. Opponent had it. Wow. Man, they drew a lot of graveyard hate. Our opponent managed to draw three relics and a surgical. I guess people are prepared for graveyard decks. Well, that's unfortunate. Watery Grave tapped. Pass the turn. Opponent draws. Land. Wow, they're still playing Fatal Pushes, too. Interesting. Yeah, we could very easily be dead here. Opponent. Attacks, well. Shell Dock Isle. Cast Shadowborn. Block Dreadshade. Drop to one. Obliterator. Oh, it keeps getting worse. Uh, the fourth graveyard spell, hate spell got us. Another Fraxian Arena. I don't think there's a way out now. Our Shadowborns are all gone. Opponent passes. Shell Dock Isle. Well, play Shell Dock Isle. Take a demon at death gate. I think it's over though, right? We just don't have anything left in our deck. If we block this, we have to sack everything. We block this. Yeah, that does it. Man. Well, we got to see some cool stuff. We didn't win a match. I thought we were going to win from our sideboard plan, but opponent desperation ticked down to find gray merchant for gaining 19 and hitting us for 19 uh that was good that was good for our opponent that was unfortunate for us man that is uh that is brutal that is brutal i thought we were actually gonna win a match with one of the jankiest mimia stacks in history but we won a game and Boy, were we close to winning a match. So, I mean, when you're playing ultra jank, I guess that counts as a win. <laughs> close enough. <laughs> All right. Much to about nothing time. We are me minute up with a Shadowborn Shell Dot combo, and we're going to keep this. We're on the draw. That means we get to exile all of our Shell Docks. Uh, or shell <laughs> Shadowborns. Shadowborns. And hopefully we will draw a Shell Dock Isle. Mute Vault. Well, we'll see. Getting rid of all the Shadowborn Apostles increases our odds of drawing our 
the cards we need, so we'll see. Well, step one, pass the turn. Discard Shadowborn Apostle, stop on our opponent's upkeep, extract Shadowborn Apostle before our opponent gets a chance to draw counter mana or something. All right, well, here they go. <laughs> See ya later, Shadowboards. Random spam clicking. <laughs> so what are we hoping for? Basically, we're hoping to draw one of our four Shelldock Isles. That is, that is the name of the game. We can start casting Shadowborn Apostles, so we have one ones on the battlefield to chump block with, which uh, might buy us a little bit of time. So, yep, Shadowborn's gone. Actually, we, hmm, interesting. We still have 23 cards in our deck. How did that happen? All right, well, okay. So 23 cards. I guess we can extirpate Surgical if we find a Shelldock Isle to get down even less on cards. Opponent passes. Serum Powder. I'll play Dark Slick Shores. I think we're just going to pass and surgically extract, or extirpate the surgical extraction to try to get to ugh, spreading seas. All right, well, extirpate surgical extraction. Spreading seas is a problem. All right, down to 19 cards. Well, come on, <laughs> Shelldock Isle, and no more spreading seas. If we just draw Shelldock Isle, we can win. There's an Aether Vial. Opponent's got three cards in hand. Sheldock. Sheldock. Four out of 19. Not horrible odds. Oh my god, it's more Serum Powders. All right. Well, pass the turn. <laughs> this deck. This deck is so meme-y. Opponent. Yeah, takes it up. We're going to need to draw this pretty soon, because our opponent is going to start beating us down. Yeah, Mutavault. Gets in. Down to 16. Come on, deck. Shelldock Isle. Give us that Shelldock. Emrakul. Okay. Pass the turn. <laughs> I guess this is the risk of keeping a non Shelldock Isle hand. Although, like, what can we really do? What other option do we have? I think we have maybe one? One turn? Mistbinder. Mutavault. So I think if we draw Shelldock Isle this turn, and our opponent doesn't have another Spreading Seas, we're okay. Two turns is probably too slow. Opponent passes. Oh my god. Okay. Um, discard Serum Powder. Man, weird decisions. So, like, we could have discarded Emrakul, which gives us plus one Emrakul if we find Sheldock Isle. But it also would put plus two cards in our deck to make it less likely that we find Sheldock Isle. Ugh. Master. Yeah, that does it. Yep. All right. Now we're, even if we draw a Shelldock Isle, it comes into play tap, so we're just a smidge on the slow side. All right, well, hmm. Uh, that, uh, Spreading Seas scares me. I wonder if our opponent does not know what we're doing, though. People may not have ever seen this deck before. Do we want to change anything? I think we're just, we're going to run it back. We're going to stick with the combo. We're not going to go Thrumming Stone. We just gotta, I mean, we gotta get the, the right draw, the right draw. All right, we get to play first. No, 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 no. We do not play first. We play second. <sighs> All right, got a mulligan. Mmm, boy, got a mulligan. <laughs> um, us hand does not have, hmm. Eh, I guess we mulligan. Mulligan. All right. Shadowborn to the bottom. Well... Uh, good news, bad news. Opponent not expecting to play first passes their turn. Well, lottery grave tapped. Pass the turn. So we can play a Shadowborn. We can hopefully chump block with it. Although Island Walk makes that tricky. Misty Rainforest. Opponent cracks it. Breeding Pool. Untapped. And Q Mono Speaker. Well, play Shadowborn Apostle. Play Dark Slick Shores. Hope for no Island Walk Lord. We really got to be able to chump block with Shadowborn Apostle to have any hope. Misty. Cracks it. Oh, no Island Walk Lord. Please. Oh, Lord of Atlantis. Hmm. Okay. Now I don't know how we ever get Shadowborn Apostle in our graveyard. That's one of the weird aspects of this deck is we got a mulligan to find... A 
hand that has a chance to combo. But when we mulligan, we risk having exactly this happen, which is not being able to get a Shadowborn in the graveyard. Although, like, in defense of our deck, most decks are attacking with creatures, and we can chump block. So it's just a little unfortunate that we have a Watery Grave and they have a Lord of Atlantis. <laughs> okay. I think we're drawn dead. Everything has Island Walk, so we can't chump. Uh, sure. Down to 12. Or, down to 10. Shadowborn. <laughs> We're not gonna get up to 6. They actually just have lethal. Well, alright. Send a message. Surgical, your misty rainforest. Now oh, they had spreading seas and another lord. Alright, sure. Well! Opponent's <laughs> got fog. They brought in a fog. Uh, okay. Alright, alright. Well, live by the meme, die by the meme. Alright. Much brew about nothing time. We are <laughs> trying to get people with Shadowborn Shell Dot combo, which means we are going to choose to draw. Oh man. Oh we gotta we gotta keep, I think. We don't have a surgical extraction. Yeah, we're gonna keep. We're gonna keep. We're gonna keep. We can discard Shadowborn to hand size. Hopefully we draw Alright, Raging Ravine. Hopefully we draw a surgical. That's what we need, and we got the combo pretty Ooh, extra pay. Okay. Well, pass the turn. Hope for no discard. Discard Shadowborn. Vern Catacombs. Cracks it. Overgrown Tomb. Untapped. Tarmogoyf. Okay. Well, we have a chance. We do have an Emrakul in hand. Opponent. Passes. Surgical is still our best draw, because then we can Shell Dock and Surgical. Shadowborn Apostle. Hmm. Yeah, Watery Grave. Untapped. Pass the turn. We can start playing Shadowborns as chump blockers as well. Oh, please, Sheldock Isle. Please. <laughs> please. For the love of God. Opponent gets in for two. Please give us an Emrakul. Yup. Down to 16. Scavenging ooze. Alright, let's just do this now. Extirpate Shadowborn. And pray to the magic gods. No fulminators, no blood moons. Get rid of all the shadow boards. <laughs> oh boy. Are we going to be low enough on cards? We have a lot of shadow boards in hand. We might not. I think we're still going to be over 20 cards, just barely. How close are we? All right, 22. All right. 22 shadow boards down. Opponent gets a news. Well, I mean, this works out fine. Sheldock puts us down a card, we draw a card. So by the time we untap with Sheldock, please not Emrakul. Dark Slick Shores. All right, so the moment of truth, we need one of our three Emrakuls underneath this Sheldock Isle. Uh, all right, that's an Emrakul. That's what we wanted. Oh, we're doing it. We're doing it. Play Shadowboard. <laughs> yes, come on. No red of like Fulminator Mage, Blood Moon type shenanigans. We have it for next turn. We have it for next turn. Opponent. Combat. Attacks. Well, we will chump block with Shadowborn. Down to 14. Opponent passes. Oh, God. Game. Game. It's working. It's working. Uh, Shell Deck Isle. Emrakul. Good game. Thank you. <laughs> got him. We got him. We got him. We got him. We got him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. Lord, Lord, Lord. <laughs> uh, play Dark Slick Shores. Might as well play Shadowborn. Go to combat. Or go to our extra turn. <laughs> uh, untap. Combat. Attack. Annihilate. And I mean, this, this just... This does just do it. With no permanence, our opponent can't answer this. <laughs> opponent scoops it up. All right. Well, that's that's the dream. That is the dream. That's what we're trying to do. Opponent is going to be able to sideboard now. Man, I think we still just got a meme him. I'm not sure if... Uh, I'm not feeling our demons very much. They probably have... Hmm... They probably have Liliana's to get rid of them. If we're, like, sacking all of our stuff to play Demon at Deskgate. Do we just meme it back, or do we try to 
Do we try to go to our side? Let's... All right, so we won game one. Let's just run it back for game two and see what our opponent does. And then based on what we see of their sideboarding plan, maybe we'll change things up for game three. <laughs> uh, the deck is hilarious when it works. I don't know what percentage of the time that is, but when it happens, super sweet. Uh, this hand... We have Shadowborn, we have Surgical. Uh, okay, we'll try it. I mean, we gotta draw into our land, but uh, discard would be rough on our Surgical. Now let's see what our opponent's got. Bloodstained Mire. And passes, okay. Well, we will pass the turn. Opponent cracks. Overgrown Tomb tapped, well. Discard Shadowborn, stop on our opponent's upkeep, extract it. All right, well, there goes the Shadowboards. <laughs> Step one, complete. <laughs> now we got to draw Sheldock Isle and have our opponent not have an answer to it. This does increase our odds of drawing it because we're getting rid of so many cards from our deck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, down to 24. Go ahead, opponent. Oh, we left a Shadowborn in our graveyard. Uh, I guess that's okay-ish. Four is for our opponent. And a Goyf. Okay. Come on, Sheldock Isles. Sheldock Isles. Surgical. Well, Shadowborn Apostle. You. <laughs> uh, yup, opponent. Combat. Gets it. Well, we will chump block. I guess Assassin's Trophy also answers our land, which is bad. Black Cleave Cliffs. Oh, come on, Sheldock Isle. Watery Grave. Oh, play Shadowborn. Watery Grave tapped. Pass the turn. Opponent. Swamp. Kalitas. Huh. Huh. Well, that makes chump blocking a lot worse. Opponent gets it. Well, we gotta take it. Oh, come on, Sheldock Isle. Emrakul. <laughs> Only 13 more mana. Easy, easy, easy. Shadowboard, Shadowboard. I guess maybe we should be surgically extracting surgical extraction. I guess we should have just immediately snapped that off to reduce our deck size even more and increase our chances of drawing. Uh, but the cost is two life. Hmm. Maybe we should be playing less Shadowborns and trying to surgically extract without paying life just to decrease the size of our deck. Oh, not Maelstrom Pulse. Opponent. Bloodbraid Elf. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, we see Fulminators, which I think means we are going to go on our other sideboard plan here. I think we have to. Opponent. Attacks, attacks, attacks. Yeah, we're just, we're dead. With the Fulminator, even if we draw... Yeah, even if we draw a Sheldock Eye, we still lose. All right, so against this deck, I think we're going to go jank them out Demons. So down Emrakuls, down Surgicals and Extirpates, up Thrumming Stones and Swamps, down Serum Powders, Rune Scar, Grizzlebrand, Demon, 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 Demon. And yeah, let's cut a couple Shadowborns and leave Serum Powder. All right, so combo out. Uh, do we want... I guess we probably want Immortal Servitude too. All right. All right, well, there's our new plan. Shadowborn, get our demons, Thrumming Stone. Thrumming Stone, I mean, if we manage to play it, it can beat our opponent. All right, we get to play first. Hmm. <laughs> if we draw a land, we have turn two demon. We also have a Thrumming Stone. Yeah, okay, jank about demons. The Serum Powder is tempting since we have a free mulligan, but... I think there's enough upside here. Worst case, we slowly play Shadowborns. 
and turn three demon, which is not as good, but... Alright. Well, step one. Watery Grave. Untapped. Shadowborn Apostle. Now we would like to not draw a Sheldock Isle. <laughs> we would like just an untapped Black Source. Pass the turn. Bonet. Verdant Catacombs. And, oh, come on. Come on, land. Give us that land. Give us that land. Untapped Black Source. Serum Powder. Well, get in with Shadowborn Apostle. We did not hit it. Another Serum Powder. Hit our opponent for one. Play Shadowborn Apostle. Pass the turn. Opponent cracks. Overgrown Tomb. Tapped. So the downside here is our opponent could have a way to kill our demon. Liliana, Assassin's Trophy, etc. There's a Goyf. Opponent. Passes. Well, I mean, Shadowborn Apostle. Demon at Death's Gate. Pass the turn. All right. No removal. No Lilianas. <laughs> please. Please. Technically, it wins in two attacks. We put ourselves down to 12, though, and we have literally nothing else going on. It would have been so much more devastating on turn two. Blood Crypt. Untapped. Oh, they kept Lilianas in. All right. Well... That's a game, boys and girls. We tried. We tried. Uh, live by the memes. Die by the memes. Yeah. All right. Well, we kind of did our sideboard plan thing. We put our opponent to the test. It did not. I mean, they passed the test, so we lose. But Shadowborn Apostle. Um. Yeah. Yeah, we can't win from here. Uh, play Shadowborn. We won't scoop. But I don't think it's possible we can win. We need to draw one, two, like three lands without dying. And our opponent has a Liliana, so we're going to be discarding the hand size. Or discarding the Liliana from our hand. So I don't think... Yeah. Uh, all right. Discard Rune Scar. Opponent discards a land. Ah. This deck. <laughs> Uh, I guess the good news is, since our opponent had Liliana, we wouldn't have uh, won even if we had Demon on turn two. But Liliana still would have killed it in time. We would have gotten a hit, which would have been nice, but... All right, down to eight. Land. Vote it. Fulminator. Kills our one land. All right. And we will scoop it up. Well, we played a demon on turn three. And it was big. Unfortunately, our opponent randomly had a way to kill it. <laughs> it's a little weird against Jund. Cards that they, I guess, want anyway, like Liliana and Assassin's Trophy, uh, are not cards that they're going to sideboard out. And they happen to kill our demons, too. Well, we got to win. We're good at winning games. Uh, unsure if we will ever win a match, though. All right. Much brew about nothing time. We are... <laughs> Memeing it up with Shadowboard Sheldog, so we're playing last. Uh, okay. Oh, this hand. We need a black source. We gotta keep. We gotta keep. All we need is one of our black sources. We have Extirpate. We got Shadowborn. We have Sheldog. We have eight black sources in our deck. So uh, the odds aren't bad. Land? Emrakul. Okay. Well, that was not exactly part of the plan. Opponent ops, uh, are they storming? Well, if we find black mana, our extirpates are kind of hilariously good against storm. Opponent, mountain. Oh, come on, black mana. Come on, black mana. Not a sh shadow board, please. Shadow board. Um, uh, do we even play Sheldock? Our odds of hitting an Emrakul are not high. I think we have to not. <laughs> oh, this deck... When you draw all three pieces of the combo in the same hand, look out world. <laughs> On the other hand, the games where we do not draw all the pieces are hilariously bad. Opponent passes. Black mana. Shadowborn. <laughs> I guess when you have 35 Shadowborn Apostles in your deck, odds of drawing them every turn are pretty high. <laughs> Who would have thought?
So that's what would happen. Opponents probably got a hand of counters that they're itching to use. Black Shadowboard. Shadowboard. <laughs> Give us a land, magic gods, please. <laughs> if we draw another Shadowboard. Okay, it is Storm, and we are probably dead. Ritual. Metamorphose. Ritual. Metamorphose. Ritual. Metamorphose. Aw, Grape Shot. Remands it. Loots. Okay. So we take a bunch of damage. Grape Shot. A bunch more damage. Do they just have another Grape Shot? Or Past in Flames Grape Shot, I guess works. Okay. Grape. Alright. Well, that's, that's a lot of Grape Shots. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. Yeah. Well, yeah, okay. We had parts of our combo. <laughs> so, uh, what do we do? What do we do? I think we have to combo. I don't think the Demon of Death's Gate plan is, well, a bunch of surgicals are good. We could bring in land, bring in the rest of the extirpates and try to play the fair-er game. Like, go down Serum Powder, go down Emrakul, go up the Lands, go up the Extirpate, go up Thrumming Stones, Runescar, Grizzlebrand for Shadowborn Apostles, Immortal Servitude, Shadowborn Apostle, and probably a couple Demons. Uh, I think we need Serum Powder if we're going to do this, though. Getting to five lands is not likely without Serum Powder. All right. All right. Uh, okay. So now we're like Surgical Extraction Tribal. All right. We get to play first. No lands. So Mulligan. Uh, <laughs> oh, we just sided in a bunch of lands, too. All right. Uh, Mulligan. Really? Um, Mulligan. Well, okay, there we go. Now we're finding our lands. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay. Well, Swamp and Shadowborn. Pass the turn. I mean, I guess 16 lands. Even that's not a lot of lands. It's a lot more than 12. But even sideboarding in four more lands, we're still not land heavy by any means. A lottery grave, untapped. Shadowborn. Shadowborn. Get in there. <laughs> uh, okay, so how can we win? Opponent. Opt. I mean, I guess our opponent could just miss land drops and we could beat them down with Shadowborns. That would work. Mountain. I guess we could also just. Uh, I don't know. We draw Dark Slick Shores. Well, get in with our Shadowborns. And. Pass the turn. Points down to 16. 1-1 one, one beat down. Shivan Reef. Pieces of the puzzle. Finds, oh, all kinds of lovely things. Two rituals. All right, takes a ritual and a grape shot. Okay. We draw. Dark Slick Shores. Well, play Dark Slick Shores. Go attacking. Opponent, down to 13. Go, go, Shadowboard beat down. <laughs> oh, maybe. Maybe it'll work-ish. Bone it. Oh dear, ritual. Are we just dead? Even without a brawl? Manamorphose. Manamorphose. Oh my god. Manamorphose. That's that's a lot of metamorphoses. Steam fence. Yeah, I, I think we're just gonna die to the fair storm kill. Ritual. Uh oh, past in flames? Ritual. Yeah, all right, that does it. They just recast their graveyard and uh, grape shot us. Well, <laughs> okay, all right, all right, all right. Sooner or later, we're going to get someone. We are, I swear. All right, much to brew about nothing time. We are Shadowboard Shell Dot Comboing. Uh, this hand does not have any additional combo pieces. I guess we got a mulligan. Mulliganing is not great in this deck. Well, huh. Okay. Now we get a free mulligan, at least. This hand, we pass two turns, discard Shadowborn. That's a lot of passing. 
All right, serum powder. <sighs> okay. We can scry for a land. Uh, the hands you have to keep with this deck are so ridiculous. But if we go to five, it's so many turns that we got to skip to discard. All right, so there's a Dark Slick Shores. So, Swamp for our opponent. Oh, not discard. That sets us back even further. Inquisition, all right. I'm probably going to take our Surgical. Yeah. Well, Dark Slick Shores, Shadowborn Apostle. Pass the turn. Opponent. Mutavault. Interesting. Black with Munivault. Huh. Opponent passes. Well, there's our Surgical. Let's get in with Shadowboard. Maybe our opponent will just block. That would make things easy. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> opponent blocks. Well, get rid of our Shadowboards. And now we hope. We hope that there's a Sheldock Isle near the top of our deck. The odds won't be bad. We're going to have four out of, like, 20. So we're, what, 20%? Hopefully we don't draw more Emrakuls. If we draw more Emrakuls, then we might whiff with our Sheldock Isle. All right. Um. Okay, so we're down to 20 cards. We got rid of all the Shadowborns. Going to keep the ones in our hand for chump blocking purposes. Pass the turn. All right, when he got a bonnet. Come on, deck. Let's see those Sheldock Isles. Swamp. Raven's Crime. Um, yeah, let's discard Emrakul. It does put more cards in our deck, but it also puts an Emrakul back in our deck. Plus, drawing a Surgical is not that bad. Opponent fires up Mutavault. Gets it. Having the Emrakul back means if we draw Sheldock... Odds of hitting increase. Watery Grave. Apply Shadowborn Apostle. Watery Grave untapped. Shadowborn Apostle. Pass the turn. If they find an ensnaring bridge, then we we can't win. <laughs> this deck. Mutavault. Shrieking Affliction. That's a clock. Oh my god, the rack. That's a fast clock. Okay, so I guess we gotta draw... Sheldock Isle this turn? We take five. All right, that's not a Sheldock Isle. Well, pass the turn. We're going to hold on to as many cards as we can. Opponent. Oh, no. Another rack. Well, living up to the eight rack name. Sheldock Isle. We take two. Man, we're drawing all lands. All right, pass the turn. Opponent. Meet vault. And Mutavault. Okay. Well, double block, Mutavault. Take two. Down to seven. Oh, come on. Come on, Sheldock Isle. All right, Sheldock. Emrakul, please. Emrakul. Okay. Okay, there's hope. Pass the turn. Oh, please. Please. Oh, please. Oh, man. This is going to be so close. If they find, like, a wrench mine, we lose. Raven's Crime. Discard Shadowborn Apostle. Opponent. Passes. Oh, God. Oh, God. It's happening. It's happening. Sheldock Isle. Emrakul. Extra turn. Oh. Annihilate the board. During our extra turn. Untap. Combat. Swing. Annihilate. Every permanent on our opponent's side of the battlefield. Wow, we got there just in time. And opponent scoops it up. Okay, okay, we did it. Combo, it's a combo. Oh, Lord. All right. Uh, well, it's possible. It is possible for us to do our thing. Ugh. We do not really have a way to beat Ensnaring Bridge. Rune Scar Demon is a, f or Demon at Death Gate's a fast clock. I mean, I think our best plan is just Oh, they have so much discard. Hmm. They can't make us discard our lands, though. Yeah, stay with the combo. Stay with the combo. Run it back. Same exact plan. Oh, we get wins, and the wins are great, but it's hard to put together two wins in the same match, we have realized. What's our hand look like? Hmm. Emrakul, Sheldock, Shadowborn, nothing else. <sighs> All right. Free Mulligan. Hmm. 
The bad news is we have all of our emeralds in hand. All right, we'll keep. Oh, opponent's going to four? Oh man, that works in our favor. Uh, do we want to go beat down? I think we just pass. Pass the turn. Man, this deck is one of the weirdest, <laughs> the weirdest decks you'll ever play. Urborg. Inquisition. Well, there goes our extirpate. Yup, opponent passes. Well, pass the turn. Shrieking Affliction, sure. All right, so pass the turn. We finally got a Shadowborn in the graveyard. Also makes it hard for our opponent to turn on their Shrieking Afflictions. Thoughtseize. Well, the time has come. Surgically extract Shadowborn. And I think we take the one from our hand as well, because then that forces our opponent to put an Emrakul back in our deck, which is surprisingly relevant <laughs> at the moment, since we only have... <laughs> since we only have one in our deck. We're also down to Shelldock Isle. Well, our deck is going to be pretty small. All right. Uh, yeah, get rid of the one in our hand, too. Get rid of the one in our... All right, they're all gone. The deck is land, shell docks, surgicals, emeralds. Yup. Well, opponent has to take emeralds. There's no... There's no choice. Shuffles in. Opponent passes. Well, I mean, we gotta try. Give us an emeralds deck. Ugh. All right. Pass the turn. Surgical, A. Eh? Opponent finds a land. Inquisition. That's a whiff. Unfortunately, we need another shell dock. Opponent passes. Well, pass the turn. We don't get to win here. Mutavault. Ew, that's a clock. And Liliana takes up. Well, discard the Emrakul. Shuffles in. Oh, come on, Shell Doc. Come on, Shell Doc. More surgicals. Oh, we did the hard part, but we're not doing the easy part. Bone it. Ooh, Asylum Visitor. That's a good draw. Well, we will discard a surgical. Opponent passes. <laughs> We've drawn three surgicals in a row. Oh, this deck. Asylum Visitor. I thought we were living the dream of doing it. Our opponent mulled a four, too. Opponent. Wrench Mind. Well, discard two surgicals. Takes up Liliana. We discard a Watery Grave. Ah, there's a lot of variants built into this deck, I will say. Opponent. Gets in. Well, it would be a good turn to draw Sheldock Isle. All right, Sheldock Isle. Emrakul. Whoa. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, we're so unlucky. We are so unlucky. <laughs> Asylum Visitor. Oh, dear. Where's all of our Emrakuls? Mutavault. Oh, 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 this is the most brutal. Ticks up. We will discard a Watery Grave. Wow. Oh, we had three Emrakuls in our deck, too. You know we're drawing an Emrakul this turn. You know it. Down to ten. We take three from Shrieking Affliction, and we're just dead. Shrieking Affliction. Yeah, Shaldock Isle. Man. There they all are, but it's too little too late. <laughs> oh god oh my god uh opponent said something about ley line so if they're playing ley line maybe we gotta sideboard out the combo go down surgicals go down extirpates go down emerkles go up thrumming stones swamps go down shadowborn apostles Runescar, Grizzlebrand, Demon at Deskgate. And... Eh. Alright, let's go with this plan. Try to play around the graveyard hate. Wow, we were so unlucky. I mean, we were lucky to assemble our combo. This <laughs> this deck is ridiculous. Alright, uh, so we will play first. Alright, we'll keep it. I mean, this hand, if we draw... If we draw land, we have a Demon of Death Gate for turn two. Opponent found a Ley Line. Well, good thing we sideboarded out our graveyard stuff. Untap land, Shadowboard. Beatdowns, 1-1 one, one beatdowns, pass the turn. Opponent. Swamp. 
and Raven's Cry. Well, discard Serum Powder. Oh, give us an untapped land. Give us a black source. Shadowborn. All right, well, get him with Shadowborn. Hit our opponent. Play a Shadowborn. Pass the turn. Opponent. Swamp. Raven's Cry. Well, we will discard a Demon at Death Gate. Shrieking Affliction. Opponent passes. Ooh. All right, well, go to combat. Hit our opponent. Watery Grave, untapped. Shadowborn Apostle. Shadowborn Apostle. Demon at Death Gate. We're all in. We're all in on the demon. Two turd, two turd. All right, what do you got, opponent? Please, not another rack. Are we going to win a match? Opponent passes. Yes. We drop to seven. We attack for ten. We pass the turn. Are we doing it? Land. We have it. A, a buffer. We have a buffer. Liliana. Oh, we did it. Huh. Takes down. We will sack Shadowboard. David and Deskate. Oh, it worked. We dropped to four. Combat. Oh, my goodness. Pona scoops it up. Oh, my lord. We won a match. Oh, we've been trying. Our sideboard plan finally came through. Wow. Well, <laughs> It's possible! Matches can't be won! Demon of Death Gate. Maybe we should build a Demon of Death Gate deck. Because that part's kind of sweet. Just like slam a 9 9 on turn 2. Uh, seems like it could be worth trying. Like if we actually built around that rather than around the Shadowborn Apostle plan. But oh man, this deck. Well, you can win games with it, and it's even possible to occasionally win a match. We proved it! We proved it! <laughs> Sweet. So what do we learn this week about Shadowborn Sheldock combo for Modern? And uh, we finally won. We won a match with it. We took down 8-Rack. It did take us all five of our matches to finally win a match. So really, I mean, we finished one in four. The deck is not what I would consider competitive in the sense that you're going to win a tournament or really even win many matches with it. The good news is when it does its thing, it is really hilarious. And it definitely is a kind of deck that people are going to stand up and notice. Like when you turn one discard Shadowborn Apostle to hand size and then surgically extract it, the reactions you get from people range from befuddlement to amusement to anger. Like it brings out emotions in people. So it seems like a really fun meme style deck to play your FNM or something just for fun. I would not expect to win your FNM with it or uh, be very competitive. So our experience with the deck is the combo itself requires a lot of things to go right. And even with our redundant pieces, our serum powders for free mulligans, we are often missing a piece or two. And for example, we'd have our Shadowborn Apostle because we always have a Shadowborn Apostle. There's 34 of them. So we just always have them. We'd have our Surgical Extraction, but not have a Sheldock Isle or have Sheldock plus Shadowborn Apostle, but not have a Extirpate or Surgical Extraction effect. So that was a little bit awkward. We also had uh, some trying times where we would actually pull off the combo and then play our Shaldock Isle and whiff on our Emrakul. Those are the most brutal beats with the deck because you did the hard part. You managed to extirpate all of your Shadowboard Apostles. You actually played a Shaldock Isle and then to not see the Emrakul staring back at you and get like another Shadowborn or not even a Shadowborn because they're gone and extirpate or a Serum Powder or something. Those are the most brutal losses for the deck. So uh, it's very inconsistent. It needs a lot to go right. It's a little bit awkwardly slow because you have to skip your first turn to discard the hand size and it is disrupted by graveyard hate and also land hate we saw people bringing in like fulminators from the sideboard those are good against us blood moon brutal against us uh, field of ruin ghost quarter those would also wreck us because Sheldock isle enters untapped the other thing is we did do some tricky things with our sideboard it's hard to know when to go on the like thrumming stone demon sideboard plan but we did have some success with it we almost took down the mono Black Devotion deck. A little bit unfortunate that we didn't win that one with our opponent finding Grey Merchant with Liliana at just the right time. And then we got the Demon of Deathgate beatdown planned. And I gotta say, one of my takeaways from this, other than the deck is really fun and probably not very competitive, is Demon of Deathgate is super sweet. And I kind of just want to build a Demon at Deathgate plan. It seems like if we were built around Demon at Deathgate, trying to play it on turn two, it seems like we 
could do that pretty consistently. And a 9-9 flying trampler on turn two, uh, that's pretty big and pretty scary, even in a format like Modern. Like, as long as our opponent played a shock land untapped or cracked two fetch lands, it's a two-turn clock and it can come down as early on turn two and it's evasive. So, of course, it does die to some things in some matchups. It does cost a lot of life, but I'm really tempted to try to build a Demon at Deskgate deck now because uh, when we pulled that off in the sideboard, it was super spectacular. So I kind of want to try that out, see if that could possibly be a thing that would work. So anyway, that was ShadowPortShell.combo for Modern. Deck was sweet. We did some really spectacular, funny, fun things. We also had some really brutal losses and lost to ourselves a lot of the time. I guess the good news is when we lost, most of the time we just lost quickly. Like Mulligan to four, our opponent beat us down. On to the next one. Hopefully we can combo off that one. So when it works, it is awesome. When it doesn't work, it really doesn't work. Anyway, that's when our much improved for this week. Shadowborn Sheldock combo for modern. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will talk to you soon. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, help us out by clicking that like button down below. And to keep up on all the latest and greatest, click that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos. And if you want to, check out some of our other sweet videos here and here.